All right. I want to introduce you to some bulk user operations in Microsoft Azure. Now, I'm not actually going to do one of these. I don't need to, but I do want to show you the process a little bit. So I'm here in Microsoft Azure. I'm on Entra. In fact, let me go back home so I can show you how I got here. So I'm going to go to Microsoft Entra ID, and then in my manage, and this may be collapsed for you. So I'm going to click on Manage and Users. And here are my bulk operations. Now, the idea of a bulk operation is we want to do a whole bunch of things at one time. So I want to create 100 users all at one time. And I don't want to do them manually one after another after another. So I want to do a bulk operation. Same thing for inviting from another organization or for deleting. So I'm going to click this. And I'm going all of these three basically work very similar. So I'm going to click on the bulk create. And you're going to see here we got a warning. Uh, there are some limitations to bulk operations. So here's how this is going to work. We're going to do this based on a CSV file. So I'm going to download a CSV template. I'm going to edit the file. I'm going to upload the file. And then I'm going to submit it. And that should pick up and do what I need it to do. So I'm going to download the file real quick. And here's our users create template.csv. So I'm going to click on that. And that's going to open up in Excel. Let me drag this over here so you can see it. And so here is the basic information that we need. I'm going to expand these out so we can see them a little bit better. So um, we would keep this part intact. This is where we would start overwriting. So the display name, which is required, the username, which is required, the password, which is required, and whether the account is enabled or not. All of those things are required. Now, the rest of these, as we flip through them, notice that it's not showing that these are required. But uh, they are things that we can put in there. So what you would start doing, you know, let's go ahead and do one of these here real quick. I'm going to do a George Weasley. And we're going to do, who I have to remember my name, Weasley at, and then I'm going to move this out of the way for a minute because D Dalton Azure Gmail on Microsoft.com is going to be the my full name. So we're going to see if I can get that right. So George Weasley at D Dalton Azure Gmail on Microsoft.com. My initial password. Let's go ahead and leave that. Actually, let's do. And um, block sign in, I'm going to say block sign in is going to be no. Okay, so this gives me a user create template. And I'm going to, I'll go ahead and do a few more of these. George, there we go. Weasley, job title is a student. Uh, let's put Department of Gryffindor. Okay, good enough. And then I'm going to save this file and close out. Now, it should have saved as a CSV file. So I downloaded the CSV file. I edited it. Now I'm going to upload my CSV file. So I'm going to click here to select a file. This file should be in my downloads, my user create template. I'm going to hit OK and submit. Now, that uploads my file, and then this runs in the background of uh, that bulk create process. If it takes more than an hour, there's going to be a problem. If it takes more than an hour, there really should be a problem. And then I can click to view the status of each operation. So here's my bulk operations results. So we did a user create. Up here, we just say, hey, this succeeded. Um, so we see the, the type, the file name, the upload time, the time it was completed, the status, the number of successes, number of failures, and total requests. So if I go back to manage, which I'm on bulk operations, let me go back to users and manage users. There is my George Weasley done by a, um, done by a bulk update. Now, 
I one of the things I hope you noticed when we looked at that, did you notice that there was not as much information in that CSV template as there was when we manually created another user? That's in a different video. So you can go back and reference that to see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and open up George Weasley here real quick. And we're going to look at the properties of George Weasley. And you can see this information we put in. We put in the job information. We put the uh, job title, the department. We really didn't see a company name there. At least I don't remember seeing a company name when I was looking at the bulk template. Maybe I missed it. But... Um, it does not have all the same amount of information. So when you go to bulk create users, just be aware that that will be a limitation. You won't have the same amount of options available. Okay, so we saw in the bulk operations, come back to users. So on our bulk operations, we, had, we ran through a bulk create, bulk invite, bulk delete. They're all going to work the same way. You download the CSV file, you edit it, you upload the CSV file, and it runs in the background. So there you go. An introduction to bulk user operations in um, Azure Entry ID.